I am starting today at an eye-watering 6am here at Kathmandu Airport because today marks the beginning of such an incredible adventure. Today I'm beginning the adventure to Mount Everest Base Camp which is over 17,000 feet. It will take me about 12 days to get there but first I have to take a tiny flight to the world's most dangerous airport so let's go. And this right behind me is our flight. Probably the smallest flight I've ever taken. I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly apprehensive to take this flight to the world's most dangerous airport. Let's go. Okay, I just safely made it here to Lukla. Let the adventure begin. <laughs> Okay, day one is complete. So happy. I've just made it to Park Ding, which is the first stop on this 12 day journey. What a beautiful trek so far. I'm gonna stop, grab some food, rest, ready for the big adventure to start tomorrow. Good morning, it's a very cloudy and rainy start to day two. I started the hike about 15 minutes ago. Let's hope the sun comes out at one point today. Yeah, let's have a good day. Been hiking for a couple of hours now. The scenery is so beautiful. I've kind of just been tracking the river for the entire way and the snow is started to get quite thick actually on top of the mountains. So yeah, I'm loving it. To get to Namchi Bazaar, you have to cross so many of these suspension bridges. Huge bridges which just sway in the wind and underneath is a huge torrent of glacial water. If you're scared of heights, it's pretty scary but this is beautiful. Okay, I'm just hitting about 2,935 meters. This in front of me is the world's tallest and longest suspension bridge over the valley. Definitely not for the faint hearted.
can see I'm pretty close to hitting the snow part of the valley. It's about another three hour trek until I reached Namchi, which is about 3,400 meters. So let's keep going. <laughs> I just hit 3,300 meters. Now everything that's falling from the sky <laughs> is snow. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. So when you're trekking here in the Everest Base Camp route, you're going to be staying at tea houses or lodges. Let me show you around the one I'm staying in here in Namchi Bazaar. So this is my bedroom, the sun is just going down. The prime focus of these tea houses and lodges is to provide you with shelter. Inside the rooms there is no heating. There are some pretty nice thick blankets though and some good fluffy pillows. Pretty perfect with these views, right? And this is the heart of the tea house, the communal room. This is where everyone comes to warm up by the fire. Yak poo is used to keep the fire alive through the freezing evenings. And for dinner, a famous Nepali dish. This is dalbat. A hot mix of vegetables, rice and lentil soup. Perfect after the long day of trekking. Done your bird. Can I fill this? Just from the tap? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Cool lot. Okay, thank you. Today I'm going to get my body used to the altitude and go on a hike to hopefully see my first glimpses of Mount Everest. This view is pretty spectacular right? Since I got to the Everest base camp trek it's been raining down in the lower valley but today it's the first glimpses of the mountains at sunrise and it's stunning. <laughs> I've made it to 3,775 meters. Up here, the air, I feel so thin. But you can see I'm basically in the clouds. The clouds are kind of just washing and rolling over me. It's a pretty stunning landscape. All of the trees are covered in snow.
I couldn't see Everest. The weather here changes so fast and the snow has come in. It's biting cold, oh my gosh. I'm gonna head back down, back into Nanchi Bazaar and rest before a big day tomorrow. Good morning, it's day four. I feel great today, the sun is out. It's probably about minus five right now though. I've just left, the journey to Everest continues. Yesterday I spent my time acclimatizing in Namche and I feel really good. I am very happy with how my body is feeling. Let's have a great day and continue to the world's tallest mountain. Take a look at this view. So I've just hiked around the corner. The sun feels amazing, but right there, my friends, is my first glimpse of Mount Everest. It looks so beautiful. You can see the clouds just hugging the peaks. I don't think this view could get any better. And I know that will always be true. I really can't believe these views. I'm in shock. I feel like crying. My gosh. We are filled with pride. Yes, I know, yes, I know that I have to agree. There is no one as <laughs> as me. Now that you are in me, and there's no way without, can I function with Woo! this power? Okay, I have just hit 3,600 meters, and this is the first point where I can see that Everest Base Camp is 21 hours walk. It's a pretty long way. <laughs> I made it down to the riverbed. You can hear the river just rushing down the valley. Now it's pretty much a vertical slope to the top of Tenguchi. This is by far the most difficult part of the track so far. Oh my gosh. It's pretty much a vertical incline from the bottom of the valley. It's moments like this where I'm struggling where I have to think back to why I'm doing this. The clouds are starting to roll in. The wind is starting to pick up. I just, to be honest, I've never been more grateful for some cool air 
The sun is making things twice as hard, oh my gosh. This trek basically winds its way up to the top of the mountain. You can see the mountain's just been covered with clouds. see how steep everything is. Oh, it's cool there. Such a relief, oh my gosh. I can do this. Come on. Okay, I've just made it to Tengbuche. You can see I'm right in the clouds. They are flying up the mountain. But I actually made it here at 1 p.m., which is five hours after I left, but I stopped for lunch for one hour. So I got here in four hours. So yeah, I'm very happy. Wow. And this is my home for one night. So I'm gonna get some rest. Wow, I'm so proud of myself. My first greeting to this place is horses. Gorgeous. It's so sleepy. That was by far the coldest night's sleep I've ever had. That was about minus 12. But you can see the sun. It's just starting to come up in the mountains, but let me show you the best bit. This, my friends, is Mount Everest. That there is Lodge. I don't think the view could get any better. Good morning. So the trek from Tengbuche to Dingbuche is so stunning. You literally stare at the face of Lebuche and Mount Everest and this beautiful mountain here. The entire journey. So beautiful. Four thousand one hundred and forty meters. Dingbuche should just be over that ridge, over the valley. It's starting to get very cold. The clouds are kind of rolling in, so I'm gonna try and be quick. But 
yeah I left two and a half hours ago and I stopped for maybe 20 minutes of tea so so far so damn good <laughs> Okay, so I arrived here in Dingwich at 4,400 meters a couple of hours ago. I've eaten, now is the most important part. I have to get my body used to the altitude just like I did in Namachi Bazaar. So the task right now is to head to the top of here at 5,000 meters to hopefully get my body used to the altitude. The wind and the weather has come in, it's pretty cold. Let's wrap up, let's go. The wind is biting cold. Oh, I can't feel my face, but look at this. Look at this view. Wow. <laughs> I feel amazing. Wow, I think I'm at about 4,700 meters right now. inside the clouds and it's kind of quite bitterly cold. It's an incredible feeling. A little bit scared because that mountain is so tall and you can see the clouds just kind of engulfing and behind me it's pretty much a sheer drop so I'll wait up here for maybe 30 minutes get my body used to the altitude then head back down. snow has pretty much engulfed the entire valley you can kind of see some of the peaks poking through but today has been a pretty physically testing and mentally testing day I've struggled a little bit if I'm being completely honest yeah so I've just been journaling for a little bit and I came across something I wrote on the 20th of February, so three weeks ago when I was flying to Pakistan and I wanted to share it with you. So it says, finally, after one month traveling over Pakistan again, what an incredible adventure. I'm flying to Nepal to walk to Mount Everest. I've been thinking a lot about Grandad recently. I wish I could have shared more adventures with him. I wish I could have shared my memories with him. I remember all of the summer holidays that I spent at the beach with him, walking and running in the waves. I'm going to hike to Everest in memory of him, to make him proud of who I have become. It is going to be mentally and physically challenging, but I really hope I can do it. And I read that just a moment ago, and wow. And tomorrow I embark on pretty much the last leg of this journey. I have two more days until I will be at Everest Base Camp. Tomorrow is going to be pretty challenging, but the day after I hope to reach the base camp of the world's tallest mountain. So I am freezing, it's about minus 12. <laughs> I'm going to watch the sunset and remind myself again why this journey is so important to me and 
I will see you in the morning. It's another beautiful morning here on the Everest Base Camp Trek. Don't be deceived by the sun though. It's about minus 10 to minus 15. Right now, the cold air is making it a little bit difficult to breathe. It's a little bit windy too and that wind is biting, but yeah, today the plan is to go to Labuche, which is at 4,900 meters. I'm gonna take it slow. Yeah, beautiful. My bag just broke, which is not ideal. Um, I've just had to tie it up, so I really hope it doesn't break any further. Uh, not the best start. Is maybe 200 to Nabuche. The wind is so cold. I've had to put on all my layers and protect everything. Excuse me. Look at all of this. Because oh. I was there by your side with my eyes open wide, and I know that will always be true. Oh my god, I finally made it to La Vuche at 5,030 meters. Oh, today was so challenging, but it wasn't really my body that got me here, it, it was my mind. I couldn't be happier. Now I need to rest. Okay, so I came for a little bit of a hike to try and get my body more used to the altitude. I'm well over 5,000 meters now. And right below here, you can see the huge glacier, which is just flowing down the mountain. It's still so windy up here. And being up here is just so amazing. I still can't quite believe that tomorrow I will be hitting base camp of the world's tallest mountain. Something I've dreamed of so much for so long. And tomorrow I'll be there. It's crazy. Look at this. <laughs> it's just started snowing. <laughs> wow. It's so beautiful. <sighs> this is a dream. <laughs> Wow. Good morning today is base camp day. I still can't quite believe I made it this far and as you can see it snowed pretty heavily last night so I hope the trek will be okay. The sun hasn't quite come up yet. The landscape is so stunning. I can't wait to get to base camp today. I'm so happy. I still can't. I just I can't believe I've done it and yeah I've done it without any illness. No altitude sickness, no headaches, no nausea, no nothing. I feel so happy with my body and I can't wait to get there. So let's go. I'm so close, base camp is just here. Hopefully just a few more hours to go. I'm so excited. 
can see all of the snow just built up. There was an avalanche actually about five minutes ago, just came tumbling down the mountain. I wish I could have recorded it and you could have heard the sounds. It was so loud, it was like a giant roar. Just coming down the mountain face. Everest, just behind there. Surrounded by clouds. I'm so close. So I'm almost at base camp, base camp is just there, but look at this glacier. Wow. Just under two years ago, this was flat. And within those two years, this has just collapsed. You can see the crevasses just down here. I'm so close, I'm so exhausted. Oh my gosh! After seven days of trekking, seven days of tough conditions, seven days of self-determination, I've made it to the base camp of Everest, the world's tallest mountain at over 17 and a half thousand feet. I'm so happy, so proud. I just hope my granddad is proud too. This is just the best feeling. Woo! I always ask myself, Jay, why do you put yourself through discomfort? Why do you take yourself outside of your comfort zone? The answer is, it makes you feel so raw, so, so happy, and so, so alive. And that, my friends, is the best feeling in the world. <laughs>